What's happening? Welcome everybody. Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Today we are inside of the Mutable Sample Project for Unreal Engine 5.5, and I'm gonna be going over a fix for you. If you're trying on clothes as I did, and I had clothes that I brought over from Unreal Engine 5.4, like this jacket, you're gonna see that this jacket is not fitting the character correctly. It's raised up too high and there's nothing I can do to fix it inside of the engine. I've tried using different skeletons. I've tried all kinds of things until I discovered why this is actually happening. All right, what's happening here is that these clothes were designed in Unreal Engine 5.4 and we used a different metahuman in 5.4. If you remember, the metahumans used to have shoes on. So when these clothes were made, they were made for the metahumans that came with shoes on their feet and these metahumans are naturally two centimeters above the ground to make up for the two centimeter soles on the shoes. So when these clothes were designed, whether in Maya or wherever they were made, this person used that two inch gap for the shoes. So now they will not work with the new metahumans that come with feet and start at a zero point axis on the ground. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this right quick. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to the folder with your item in it. So this is what we are working with and it is called SKFTN Tops Type 05. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make another folder, right? And I'm gonna just call this Mutable Meshes and we gotta take that space out of there. I know better. And we are going to just have this folder because that's where we're gonna work at when we bring this back in. And we're just gonna export this. So we'll go ahead and go to Asset actions we're going to say export and then it should bring up folder for you to export to i already have one called mesh exports so you'll see that type 5 which is tops type 5 and i already do have one but i'll just export it again it's not going to really make a difference and you want to keep the settings at the fbx 2013 they work fine don't change anything just go ahead and export this from here we want to go into our blender and we want to open our folder here and you want a fresh blender project no block no nothing in it and what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this tops and we're going to bring it in all right and i'll go ahead and minimize that and we're just gonna leave all the settings the same and we're just gonna import this into Blender and you should see your item here. Now, what you're gonna wanna do in Blender is go to the top tab here uh, where the properties are and you just wanna go to the Z axis and we're just gonna put minus two, press enter. You should see your mesh go down two and then we're just gonna export this, all right? So you wanna export it as an FBX, um, name it what you want. I'm just gonna name it Elegant Top, all right? Just so I know it's different from the other uh, mesh. And then I'm going to go ahead and find where I wanna put this. This is trying to store it in documents. I don't want it in documents. We're gonna go back to the desktop and I'm gonna go to the mesh exports and we're just gonna export that mesh here. All right, so we'll export that to mesh exports. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go to our mesh exports. We're gonna get back into our engine, go to our mesh exports, and we're going to find this file. So if you look here, we got elegant top. All right. And we're just going to drag this elegant top into this folder. All right. And it should bring up a screen here. Same thing. We don't want to touch anything here. We're just going to import this like it is. Let it make its skeleton and just import. All right. So now we should be able to open this and you'll see that we have our skeleton and we have our color and everything here. What I'm gonna do now is just open this skeleton and I'm gonna first change this material back to the material that this uses, which is jacket A1. So that would be this one. Once you have that done, we're gonna edit this skeleton. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to skeleton, edit skeleton, and we are gonna go to the root and we're gonna unparent this bone once you unparent this bone, you'll be able to delete the extra bones that are created. So there should be one extra bone, which is this one. We should be able to just delete this bone now. So we could remove this bone and then you wanna press accept. Make sure you do this. This is what I was doing wrong and it didn't work for me. So make sure you press accept. 
and then leave this how it is, commit, and then we're just gonna go over the skeleton that we uh, started with, with the new skeleton, with the root, and everything set up the right way. All right, so I'm gonna just go down and make sure my bone structure is good, and it is. Now we can save. Now, I would recommend that we do a restart here. That's normally what I do. I'm just gonna go for it and see if this works. But now what we're gonna do is we are gonna replace Jacket 2. And I'm using Jacket 2 actually in this UCO folder. And this is Jacket 02. So we're gonna open this jacket and we're gonna replace the mesh. So let's break this link. And that way we're not doing it into the live environment and risking a crash. It's better to just start fresh. So I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna delete this. And then we're just gonna go here where it says tops and we're gonna find our elegant. So we will type elegant and we're just gonna put that top in in its place. Then we're gonna drag off of this type section and get the mesh section, which is the material. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hook this in and we're gonna compile it. Then you're gonna wanna go back to your main character and you're gonna wanna compile this as well. You'll see once it updates that now our mesh fits correctly. All we have to do now is worry about blocking out the items underneath, but as you see, that works perfect. That two centimeters was the distance needed. I'll go under and take this t-shirt off right quick so you can see it without the t-shirt in a way and you'll see that it fits pretty much perfect. So that's all you have to do. You can do this with Maya, Blender, any third party tool you can basically do this with. I just wanted to show you that because I had quite a few items of clothing that I've purchased that do not fit. And so I figured this out. Also some new items that I've purchased they're fitting this way as well. So some items are working perfect right out of the store, especially if they're made for Unreal Engine 5 and they're using an Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, I should say. Um, but they gotta be made for the new style mannequin. All right, that's all I got for this one. Let me know if this helped you out. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, share the content and hit notifications so you know when I drop something new. And I will be back with another tutorial, Amp Capo Black Adonis Games.